But first, an international art fair with roots in major cities across the country is making its return to Chicago in an effort to support independent artists. Arts correspondent Angel Ido gives us a preview of the other art fair coming to Fulton Market this weekend. The other art fair is other because we showcase artists rather than galleries. 110 artists to be exact. They'll be taking over Fulton Market this weekend to showcase their latest works in a show called The Other Art Fair. So we're based in so many cities around the world. Artists can travel, they can bring their work and they can show their work within an environment they are familiar with. They know the team, they know us, um, but it's a brand new city. So if you're an artist based in London, you can then go and show in LA or Chicago or Brooklyn and you just wouldn't be able to do that without the fair. So we've really seen artists that have been very successful in their home city, their hometown, home country, go off and show internationally, which I don't know if there's any other platform that quite does the same. It's the International Art Fair's fourth year in Chicago. And while 50% of featured artists are not Chicago-based, community partner Sierra McKissick of AMFM says their approach is still inclusive of all artists of all levels and mediums. It doesn't have the same elitism of other types of fairs, or you don't need to feel validated to be here. It's a place for everyone, essentially. And I really love that. They've got the New Futures program, too, which they offer free booth space and mentorship to emerging artists. That's why the art manager says they're eager to showcase several emerging artists they represent through AMFM. Caroline Liu actually moved to New Mexico, but she still has a presence in Chicago, so she's showing a piece here in our booth. We actually have a piece featured by Tayano, who is one of the New Futures artists from last year that I met in that experience, so she's showing in our booth this year. Moises Salazar is a really amazing artist who has like the glitter and fur work. And then we also have Marcelo Eli and Roland Santana, who I work with a lot too, and um, they're a breakout artists in the city as well. Among these breakout creatives also glows neon artist Morgan Sims. He's been manipulating bright lights for more than a decade and says he hopes to make his passion a more mainstream medium. You make your shape that you want and then you put electrodes on the end and then you fill it with gas and then you seal it off and then it's, you know, it's like a light bulb at that point. In art context, you can get close to it and kind of see neon in a way you're not used to seeing it. But also I like situations like this where you can install neon and have a lot of people see it. The other art fair also offers a variety of live presentations and demonstrations, from murals to portraits, or even just a game of bags. Organizers say the goal is to create a relaxed environment for both the artist and art lovers, so that when they're ready to make their first purchase, they aren't intimidated. But if you aren't ready to buy just yet, organizers say there are plenty of other ways to support local artists. The most important thing that you can do for an artist is to buy their work first and foremost. And if you can't buy their work, then spread the word out. Like if you see something in the booth that you like, but you can't necessarily afford it, then follow them on social media and spread the word about their work. Go to their shows and show up in person. I think they really feel that. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Angel Ito. And pieces start as low as $100. The other art fair begins tonight at Revel in Fulton Market and runs through April 24th. You can find more details on our website.